Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 530. Satisfying sex for women requires knowledge of the female pelvic anatomy. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating the symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin and Brett Newcomb are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, a book that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, the creator of BioBalance Health and also the medical director. And I'd like to talk to you today about women and sex. We're going to start a series talking about how to have better sex or the sex that you want. And this is really for the ladies. So if you don't want to have your children listening, ask them to leave the room or put on earphones. Uh, If this is too much or too... um, It, it's it's too blatant for you, and you'd rather not hear it than skip, and we'll go on to something else uh, in a few weeks. But I'd like to start by telling you why I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to talk about women and their own anatomy because it occurred to me <laughs> over all these years of being a gynecologist that women don't really know their anatomy, and they're even afraid, unlike men, to touch themselves. They, they don't want to touch themselves. They don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to look in the mirror. They don't want to know what's there. And the way I started learning this was when I would be doing a gynecologic exam on someone, I would always say, now here's your uterus, and, and I'm, now I'm touching the area of your G-spot, and this is your ovary, and, that's, and, and most women would just look at me blankly like they had no idea what I was talking about, and why was I even telling them that? And then, and then when I would talk to them about, well, I'm seeing your cervix now. When we put in the speculum, that's what we do in an exam. And your cervix looks normal, and your vagina looks normal, and there's no discharge lesions. They'd be like, I don't care. I don't, I, I don't, want, to, I don't want to know about that. Well, that was a long time ago when I started being a gynecologist. And I think things have changed in this generation. That was a generation ago. I think women are much more knowledgeable about their own bodies than they were back then, but they're still reticent because our society doesn't doesn't enjoy the blessing of loving our bodies. Other cultures, but not American culture, are less... Uh, reserve. I mean, other cultures are, are less reserved about knowing how your body works, about sex, about talking about it, about using the right words for anatomy. So in this little talk, I, I wanted to go over why we need to know our anatomy. And one of those reasons is because we have to communicate with words what we want in terms of sex by actually using words and actually knowing what we want. You aren't going to know what you want in in terms of sex if you don't know how it feels to, and I'll say the word, masturbate. Every, men masturbate. They don't think much about it. Babies masturbate in the uterus. They actually touch themselves, and you can watch them, both boy and girl babies. So it is not just a male thing. But part of that is learning what you have to do to feel good, to actually come to an orgasm, what it takes for you. And I'll have to say, everybody's different. There is no one kind of woman, one kind of man. Every single person feels good with a certain touch, a certain area that they are, that they especially like to be touched, suckled, whatever, um, in terms of sex. And the only way you're going to know that is if you loosen up and give yourself permission to investigate your own body. So an anatomy lesson is basically what we're going to go through specifically on our next, on our next health cast. But uh, in general, we're going over it today. So 
one of the things I have, um, I feel like women do is they, they don't, they don't know anything about their anatomy. They don't know what makes them happy, but yet they tell me they want their husbands to know what makes them feel good. I mean, just by ESP, their husbands are supposed to know what makes them feel good. Now, some, some men have more experience than others. Some kind of get that you have to observe and ask questions and communicate verbally with um, your spouse and understand what they want so that you can tell them what, what he wants, or he can tell you what he wants. But, but in this case, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to know and be able to say clitoris, penis, vagina, uterus, cervix, and you have to be able to know where they are. So when we're talking to our husbands, our spouses, or our partners, we have to be able to say, I really have a better orgasm with my clitoris, like most women do, or I really have a better orgasm from your you tactily or with your fingers moving my cervix or moving it with your penis. You have to be able to say those words, and most people can't get those words out. So I, I was trying to think of a, a really good example of something we do all the time that, we, that we're familiar with, and that is, say, doing our hair. So would you, would you have your hair dryer and your hot iron sitting there and then sit back and expect your hair to get done just because you're thinking about it? No, you, you actually have to do something about it. So you have to tell your partner what you want. If it's not being, if he's not doing what you want, you have to redirect it or you're never going to be happy. He's not going to be able to read your mind. And oohs and ahs and, and, or you just saying you don't want to have sex isn't really the answer because that's a very important for your health to have sex and to have good sex and for his health and the health of your relationship. Not having sex is really not an, an option in terms of being a couple. So if you want control over your body, if you want control over your relationship or some control over your sex life, then I suggest that you tune in next week when we talk about each part of the anatomy and where the areas of stimulation should be for you to achieve an orgasm. So please join us next week, and we'll discuss the anatomy. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.